top news headlines. One test positive for COVID-19 in Manipur. Two patients test negative. Shramik Special Train brings back 1,571 returnees from Chennai. And Chief Minister Birain chairs meeting to discuss flooding returnees. A very good evening. Welcome to Times of Manipur. You're watching the Evening News Bulletin. I'm Albina Riyamai, giving you the latest news updates. Manipur today recorded one fresh COVID-19 positive case. The 26 years old patient hails from Imphal West and is a Chennai returnee. An official release said His sample was tested positive for COVID-19 at the VRDL Reims Imphal. He left Chennai for Manipur by train on May 10 last and reached Jiribam on May 13. He has been admitted to the COVID care facility of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Reims. All necessary control measures like containment and contact tracing have been taken up, the release added. Meanwhile, two positive cases, a mother duo, have tested negative for coronavirus. Now the COVID-19 active cases in Manipur stands at 23. A stromic special train with 1,600 stranded Manipuris is leaving Delhi later this evening for Juribam railway station in Manipur. According to a Delhi correspondent, the Delhi government set up three screening centres at DTC Cluster Depot, Sector 2, Dwarka Government, co at Senior Secondary School, behind DTC Cluster Bus Depot, Sector 22, Dwarka and Rajkia Pratibha Vikach Vidhalai, Sector 10 in Delhi's Dwarka. The screening process began at 8 a.m. and lasted for around five hours. Delhi government and railway department provided meal to all the passengers. Another special train with 1,600 Manipuris will leave the national capital on May 25 next, sources said. A ceramic special train carrying 1,571 returnees from Chennai reached Juribam railway station at around 11.30 a.m. today. The returnees maintained social distance besides wearing masks. After lunch, they underwent screening before leaving Juribam in buses for their respective districts. Juribam District Commissioner, Superintendent of Police, Chief Medical Officer and Volunteers of Ajuka, JDO, IPSA and Indian Red Cross Society, Juribam District, brands helped in screening of the returnees and sending them to their destinations. The passengers will stay in quarantine centre for 14 days in their respective districts. In view of the arrival of stranded Manipuris, District Magistrate Juribam has imposed curfew in Juribam from 6 a.m. till 6 a.m. tomorrow. Meanwhile, N. Biren, the Chief Minister of Manipur, today chaired a meeting with officials of Jenim's Reams and Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development, IBSD, Manipur, at the CM's Secretariat, Imphal. The meeting was held to chalk out plans and strategy to tackle the flooding returnees from several parts of the country. The meeting also discussed the need to increase the volume of COVID-19 tests and the other issues of the frontline health workers fighting the pandemic in state, according to a Facebook post of CM Biren. Now we have a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Laisare Crispy, Putoktaba, the little backyard company. Gehumapum the Semba, Iron Gichang Wang the Yauba. How name the Yauba, Ahal Angang Punichabada, Haksang the Kanaba Kayamurum Piriba, Haura Chanaba Makalni, Mahau Anitopna Fung Bigani, Hot and Spicy, Mamal Supnati Lupakun Trakatani, Fung Fung, Sagarot, Tauda Babok Lakai, Abab Lajus Pija, contact number nine seven seven four zero one five five three four. Langol View Charitable Clinic Hainakhan Meramamapamasi 
Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited Hang Kangarakani. Mafamasida Medicine, Gynecology, Surgery, Orthopedic, ENT Yamadi, Pediatrics Ka Mari Lenaba, and Alaying Service Singi Kudong Java Nobu. Akupamaro Gidama contact Obu Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited, Rims Southgate near Kombine Kaitel. Hospital Headline Number 8258-967890. Sangai Services Private Limited Yelhumi the Tabak Pirasi, Tabak the Chilau Tirusi Housing Housing Lockdown Numeram Oiraga Sangai Services Private Limited Ki and Over Service Kara Hapsinjare Service Singaduri Medicine Home Delivery Home Blood Sample Collection Sanitization Services Face Masks Gloves Hand Sanitizer Home Delivery Service Stay Home Stay Safe Order to be able to contact you at 7005071707 Natraga 7005112624. The Little Backyard Company. Gehu mapun the Semba, Iron Gichang Wang the Yauba, Tau Nem the Yauba, Ahal Angang Pun the Chabada, Haksang the Kanaba Kayamurum Piriba, Hauraba Chanaba Makalni, Mahau Anitopna Fung Bigani, Hot and Sweet, Amazon Hot and Spicy, Mamal Sutnatagi Lupakun Trakatani, Fung Fum, Segarot, Tauda Babok Lakai, Abab Lajus Pija, Contact Number 9774015534. Welcome back. Breaking news just come in. We got two more positive cases from Taubal district. We are waiting for more reports. The number of COVID-19 positive cases continue to rise in Assam. In the biggest single-day spike, the state has reported 26 fresh cases. According to our Guwahati correspondent, the number of anti-COVID-19 team has been increased in various districts of the state. The authorities are also making efforts to increase the number of quarantine centers in all the districts. The COVID-19 tally has reached 319 in Assam, out of which 258 are active cases, 54 have already been discharged, 4 have died of the disease and 3 have migrated, officials data said. A scuffle took place last evening at the Thobal District Hospital premises following four individuals showing COVID-19 symptoms were brought at the isolation ward of the hospital for admission. The hospital's isolation ward has the capacity to accommodate only two patients. According to our Thobal correspondent, the four individuals who returned home on 18 of this month are inmates of an institutional quarantine center at Wycombe Money Grills College. The incident occurred when the doctors at the hospital demanded that basic equipment and manpower should be provided to the hospital. A team of Thobal District Police arrived at the site and managed to control the situation. One of the doctors at the isolation work said that the hospital has no sufficient number of doctors nor proper resting place for faculty members. Meanwhile, Superintendent of Thobal District Hospital and other top-ranking officials held a meeting today to discuss the issue. The MIT decided to assign 12 faculty members to run the isolation ward at the district hospital. <laughs> Uh, 
시가 뜨니 옆에 나가 있는 것이. Pastor Reverend L. Iboyaima of Konjengbam Lekai in Moirang, appointed by a high power committee of Presbyterian Church of India, PCI, has clarified that a media report regarding lifting of bulb wires from a community quarantine center at the complex of Lokta Christian Model CM High School was baseless and unfounded. He said the bulb wires were being taken out of the complex after obtaining prior permission and Moirang MLAP Sarchandra. The wires were were wanted for repair of fencing of LCM High School Boys Hostel at Moirang, Oksong, Reverend Ivoyaima further clarified. The letter is that 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 the letter Boys hostel da fencing ki damak pa han thak pa dugi awat pa pochei khara du family lairi ba adu manak ta yam da lap na na quarantine center oiri ba mafam maduga lap na leba mafam dagi narang ekhoi na lotuk sai ki bani hairi ba sida leba miyam da yam da la na quarantine center gi khudong cha ba lor ga uhan ba sai yam lebak thi bani hai na hai na si President of Youth Development Organization Moirang, Konzengbam Lekai, HB Mall, and Secretary also clarified that no scuffle was taking place over the barbed wires. Fight all segment ADC member Hatling Dongal today distributed 10 kg rice each to 95 households in Kaimai village of the Menglong district under NFSA and PMGKAY at the Kaimai village community hall. Hatling Dongal said that the rice was distributed to the residents to help ease their sufferings during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic crisis. <laughs> Yum dan leher ga, isol bu kurma ga, asyik ni lainnya sih dah ngap thok napa, koi mayam. Nungai na, wakan pik loise, di sini na so angam ba mati yang pire, adu ga, staff mayam su mati yang pire, MLM, CM, PM mayam na, koi bu, cerahin hal loi hal bersih mayam dah, ina, hongdok sebab ni thank you. Meanwhile, COVID-19 volunteers in Kaimai Youth Club, KYC, urge all Kaimai villagers to stay indoors in view of buses carrying back stranded Manipuris through the national highway in the region. In connection with Idul Fitr, Hayalabuk Jila Parishad member K.H. Rajmohan distributed essential commodities to 500 households of Hayalabuk today. Raj Mohan also wished everyone, especially the Muslim brethren, on the occasion for a peaceful and prosperous state. Ahead of Ramjan celebration, Manipur Democratic Alliance MDA extended greetings to the people of Manipur, especially Muslim brethren. Through a release, MDA urged all to celebrate the festival by strictly maintaining government laid down protocols. The Maipak Ningtao Committee today greeted the people of Manipur, especially the Muslim brethren, on the occasion of Idul Fitr. A statement from the organization also urged all to adhere to the COVID-19 lockdown protocols while celebrating the Ramjan. Managing Director of Sinai Institute of Medical Science, Dr. Ace Kumar, extended his greetings to the people, especially the Muslim brethren, on the auspicious occasion of Idul Fitr. Dr. S. Kumar urged all to celebrate the festival by maintaining social distancing norms. Muslims across the world celebrate Eid al-Fitr or festival of breaking the fast to mark the end of the month-long dawn to sunset fasting of Ramadan. Social distancing tambi duna government dah koy pun nama ting panguinasi aduga Idul Fitr it asibu buang pana panguinasi hai na hai jadi. Muslims around the world are being urged to celebrate Idul Fitr at home amid the pandemic. 
Saudi Arabia imposes total curfew over the it holiday after previously easing measures. UK Prime Minister's Office defends his chief advisor who has been accused of breaking lockdown rules. Dominic Cummings travelled 260 miles to a family home while suffering coronavirus symptoms. China, where the coronavirus began last year, has for the first time recorded no new cases. According to media reports, the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine may increase the risks of death among COVID-19 patients. President Trump calls on U.S. state governors to reopen places of worship currently shut due to transmission fears. Globally, more than 5.2 million cases have been recorded and 33,000 have died and 2 million have recovered. Cyclist and social activist Rohan Filam reached out to Singamayum Ramijuddin, a bedridden man from Kwakta Municipal Council, Ward No. 6 under Moirang. Rohan presented him with daily essential commodities yesterday. Rohan's help came after Tom TV carried a story on the life of Singamayum Ramijuddin. The 30 years old has been bedridden for the past eight years as his lower torso is completely paralyzed following a mishap. Rohan Filam appealed to the concerned authorities, especially Moirang constituency MLA, to do the needful to help the helpless man. Moi Shibu, I did Pazanamo lifeline of Sami was here, Machi card, Kumba, the Dinam Sagi card, Sumasi, Sambia, Marina, Baki, authority singers with Tammy and Jaman in the Nina. Relief Center for the Welfare of Differently Able Persons, Manipur Bisnupur Unit Secretary Ningtaujam Lakikanta Singh, also extended assistance to Singamayum Ramijuddin today. And Lucky Kanta Singh has also arranged all related documents for Rami Judin to obtain his disabled certificate. The relief center also handed over essential relief materials to households under Kwakta Gram Panchayat, Ward No. 9. Lilong Imphal West Municipal Council today organized a sanitization drive at Lilong Chazing Bazaar area under Ward No. 4. Volunteers of LYSSU Club and Myra Paibi organization took part in the sanitization program, which also covered Lilong Lower Primary School Quarantine Center. Once again, we have short commercial break. Stay tuned. Shanghai Services Private Limited. Yellow Mida Tabak Pirusi, Tabak the Chilau Tirusi. Hose Hose, Lockdown Numberam Oyaga. Sangai Services Private Limited ki anoba service kara hapchin jare. Service sing aduri medicine home delivery, home blood sample collection, sanitization services, face masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, home delivery service. Stay home, stay safe. Order to binaba kidama contact to binao 7005071707 natraga 7005112624. Laizare Crispy, Putoktaba, the Little Backyard Company. Gehumapum the Semba, Iron Gichang Wang the Yauba, Tau Nem the Yauba, Ahal Angang Pun the Jabada, Haksang the Kanaba Kayamurum Piriba, Hauraba Janaba Makalni, Mahau Anitopna Fang Bigani, Hot and Sweet, Amazon Hot and Spicy, Mamal Supnatagil Pakun Track of Tani, Fang Fang Segarot, Tauda Babok Laikai, Abab Lajus Pija, Contact Number 977401. Five five three four. Langol View Charitable Clinic Hainakhan Meramamapamasi 
Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited Haina Khangnarakani. Mafamasida Medicine, Gynecology, Surgery, Orthopedic, ENT Amadi Pediatrics ka mari lena ba analyzing ki service singi khudong chawalo biyo. Aku pamarol kitama contact tobiyo Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited, Rims South Gate near Kombine Kaithel. Hospital helpline number 8258967890. Sangai Services Private Limited Yelhumi the Thabak Pirasi Thabak the Chilau Thiroisi Housing Housing Lockdown Numeram Oiraga Sangai Services Private Limited Ki and over service Kara Hapsin Jare Service Singaduri Medicine Home Delivery Home Blood Sample Collection Sanitization Services Face Marks Gloves Hand Sanitizer Home Delivery Service Stay Home Stay Safe Order to be never get a contact to be oh seven zero zero five zero seven one seven zero seven Natraga seven zero zero five one one two six two four Lizare Crispy put up to the little backyard company Gehum upon the same bar iron kitchen wang the yauba how name the Yauba, Ahal Angang Puni Chabada, Haksang the Kanaba Kayamurum Piriba, Hauraba Chanaba Makalni, Mahau Anitopna Fang Bigani, Hot and Sweet, Amazon Hot and Spicy, Mamal Sukatagi Lupakun Track of Tani, Fang Fum, Segarot, Tauda Babok Lakai, Abab Lajus Pija, Contact Number, nine seven seven four zero one five five three four. Langol View Charitable Clinic Hai Na Khangnara Mama Pharmacy, Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited Hai Na Khangnara Kani. Ma Pharmacy Da Medicine, Gynecology, Surgery, Orthopedic, ENT Amadi Pediatrics Ka Mari Lena Ba Analyzing Ki Service Singi Khudong Chawa Lo Biyo. Aku Pamarol Ki Dama Contact Ho Biyo, Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited, Rims South Gate near Kombine Kaithel. Hospital Helpline Number 8258967890. Sangai Services Private Limited Yelhumi the Thabak Pirasi Thabak the Chilau Thiroisi Housing Housing Lockdown Numeram Oiraga Sangai Services Private Limited Ki and over service Kara Hapsin Jare Service Singaduri Medicine Home Delivery Home Blood Sample Collection Sanitization Services Face Marks Gloves Hand Sanitizer Home Delivery Service Stay Home Stay Safe Order to Binaba Gidama, contact to Birao, seven zero zero five zero seven one seven zero seven Natraga, seven zero zero five one one two six two four Lizare Crispy, Putoktaba, the little backyard company. Gehum upon the same bar, Iron Gichang Wang, the Yauba, how name the Yauba, Ahal Angang Puni Chabada, Haksang the Kanaba Kayamurum Piriba, Hauraba Chanaba Makalni, Mahau Anitopna Fang Bigani, Hot and Sweet, Amazon Hot and Spicy, Mamal Sukhnataki Lupakun Trakatani, Fang Fum, Segarot, Tauda Babok Lakai, Abab Lajus Pija, Contact Number, nine seven seven four zero one five five three four. Sangai Services Private Limited Yelhumi the Thabak Pirasi Thabak the Chilau Thiroisi Housing Housing Lockdown Numeram Oiraga Sangai Services Private Limited Ki and over service Kara Hapsin Jare Service Singaduri Medicine Home Delivery Home Blood Sample Collection Sanitization Services Face Marks Gloves Hand Sanitizer Home Delivery Service Stay Home Stay Safe Order to Binaba Gidama, contact to Birao, seven zero zero five zero seven one seven zero seven Natraga, seven zero zero five one one two six two four Langol View Charitable Clinic Haina Khangnara Mama Pharmacy, Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited Haina Khangnara Kani. Ma Pharmacy Da, Medicine, Gynecology, Surgery, Orthopedic, ENT Amadi Pediatrics Ka Mari Lena Ba Analyzing Ki Service Singi Khudong Chawa Lo Biyo. Aku Pamarol Ki Dama Contact Ta Biyo, Lamzing Ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited, Rims South Gate near Kombine Kaithel. Hospital Helpline Number 8258967890. Lizare Crispy, put up to the little backyard company. Gehum upon the same bar, iron gichang wang ne yauba, 
ठाउ नेम न याउबा अहल अंगंग पुन चाबदा हक्सांग द कानबा कया मुरुम पीरीबा हाउरबा चानबा मखलनी महाउ अनि थपना फंग बिगनी हॉट एंड स्वीट अमसुं हॉट एंड स्पाइसी ममल सुपने तगी लुपा कुंत्रा खपतनी फंग फंग सेगारोट थाउदा भाबक लाइकाय अब अब लाजिस पिजा कांटेक्ट नंबर नाइन सेवन सेवन फोर जीरो वन फाइव Yellow me the Tabak Pirasi, Tabak the Chilau Tirusi. Housing Housing, Lockdown Umbram Oyaga, Sangai Services Private Limited Ki, Anova Service Kara, Hapsin Jare. Service Singer Medicine Home Delivery, Home Blood Sample Collection, Sanitization Services, Face Masks, Gloves, Hand Sanitizer, Home Delivery Service, Stay Home, Stay Safe. Order to Binabogidamak, contact to Birao, 70050-71707, Natraga. 7005112624 Welcome back. Now we have a phone call from a reporter who is going to give us the latest updates on the COVID-19 positive case. Yes, Onel. Thank you. Half of Delhi's 92 active containment zones have not reported a single case in the last 14 days and could turn green over the next fortnight or so, a senior Delhi government official said today. The city government started notifying localities that report COVID-19 cases as containment zones from late March. Since then, officials said 126 localities were declared as containment zones as per a media report. Over the last few weeks, authorities have removed 34 of these areas from its containment zones list, reducing the number of active zones to 92. Containment zones comprise apartment blocks, gated communities, slums, streets, even entire neighborhoods. They are complete quarantine zones and no one is allowed to step out even to buy essential goods such as milk, vegetables, fruits, etc. All the entry and exit points and even the internal lanes are barricaded. The authorities allowed only a number of selected vendors to supply groceries and other essentials to the neighborhood with the help of RWA and civil defense volunteers. A UK court had ordered Reliance Group chairman Anil Ambani to pay $717 million to three Chinese banks within 21 days. As per media reports, Justice Nigel Chair of London's Commercial Division of the High Court of England and Wales said that a personal guarantee disputed by Ambani is binding on him. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Anil Ambani said as far as the judgment of the UK court is concerned, the question of any enforcement in India does not arise in the near future. And Anil Ambani is seeking legal advice on the future course of action. The Chinese banks industrials Commercial Bank of China Limited, China Development ba Bank and Export-Import Bank of China had sued Ambani in London for allegedly failing to repay $708 million of loans, including interest. Even as the state continues to battle against COVID-19, Assam witnessed the first spat of floods of the year as two villages in Burpeta were affected by the flooding. According to media reports, around 630 persons in two villages of the Kalgachia Revenue Circle of Burpeta District have been affected by the blood. flood. The incessant rain for the past two days due to Super Cyclone Amphan has led to the rise in water levels of many rivers, including the Brahmaputra. Meghalai Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma today visited the Bethany Hospital, Shillong, which reopened after a month of closure following the detection of first COVID-19 positive case in the state. 
In presence of late Dr. John L. Silo, Rin Thiang's wife and other family members, Chief Minister paid tribute to Dr. Silo, the founder of Bethany Hospital, Shillong, and joined the family in prayers. Chief Minister Conrad Seth thanked the entire Bethany Hospital team who responded to the pressure in a positive and cooperative manner. He said that the biggest tribute to Dr. Silo will be for the team to continue with the good work and fulfill his vision for the people. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee today wrote to the Indian Railways asking them not to send Stramic special trains to state till May 26 in view of Cyclone M Fund. District administration involved in relief and rehabilitation works after Cyclone M Fund. It wouldn't be able to receive special trains for the next few days, the CM said. According to a media report, the death toll due to the cyclone rose to 86 today. After taking an aerial survey of West Bengal and Odisha to review the aftermath of Cyclone M Fund, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had earlier announced a relief package of rupees 1,000 crore for Bengal and rupees 500 crore for Odisha. Meanwhile, India Meteorological Department informed that Cyclone M Fund is very likely to continue to move north northeastwards and weaken further into a low pressure area during the next 12 hours. The European Union has announced initial funding of 500,000 euros for people affected by the cyclone in India. In a significant move to give a boost to sports sector in the state, the Mizoram cabinet yesterday granted industry status to sports. State Sports Minister Robert Rumawia Roy said that the cabinet has cleared the proposal by State Sports and Youth Service Department to grant sports and industry status, which according to him was a significant move to take forward the segment in a more systematic and sustainable manner. He held the decision as historic and unprecedented development in the history of Mizoram, which will usher in rapid as well as large-scale development in various fields of sports, as per a media report. Royd claimed that Mizoram was the first state to decide granting of industry status to sports. Do join Tom TV's new program, Your Voice, Adomgi Konzel. Please express your grievances and issues through our channel. Send audio or video to our WhatsApp number 940-249-1494 along with a copy of your Aadhaar card. Please mention your name and address properly. Be a citizen journalist. Let's listen to today's Your Voice. facilities high school quarantine center sanitizer lock and mat bed cover pillow cover ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
yang sambil tu na, aku aku aje account dah hari riba pesa sing adu, sangat ningai kita makta, mati yang kah to view hari na mising jari. Hukiba mas kita angkun gamari gin orang yang ada gin ami kontra pau dah lep tanah satu rakiba. Pandemik orang COVID-19 kontrol tahun dah bagi dah makta. India pun benda lockdown satu rakiba asina. Misam praja maru orang na sin mising dah asa uba sin mitlon gi awab. Saya tengok pirak pa. Asih dah nata na sen sanduk sa dunam ayu makai puzaram bami sam kaya ada su. Asau ba awa ba kaya mayok na halak pa amadi. Sel puri ba masung sel sali ba mioy ani asigi marakta. Mes understanding lain na rakta na bagi da magta amadi. Mari lain na basing na awa ba mayok na riba singi kanbi dona. Awa ba sing asigi wakat pam public grievance hang biu haiza ba galoy na na microfinance sing da investment tau dona hinjari ba sing. Misam praja ay koy gi kanbi dona amadi ay panabagi da mag government na Interes lau bawa masuk lau dah bawa hai bawa sikit sabza bawa pam niang kang na lau thok piu hai je bawa loi na na investment tau jari bawa sing dah samam na bawa lai bawa sing asih ko akan na bagi dah magta tom tv ki your boy sair jigi ko thang da go mengi na kong yau na bawa hai jari Amid the COVID-19 pandemic crisis, telemedicine is emerging as the feasible option. Anil Binayak, GCOO of Fortis Healthcare, told the National Delhi. The use of telemedicine technology allows healthcare to become more accessible, efficient and convenient for the patient. The medical industry, for the most part, functions on physical interaction are largely suspended as of now given the coronavirus pandemic. As per the National Health Profile 2019 data, there are 7,13,986 government hospital beds in total, which accounts for 0.55 beds per 1,000 population. Besides, a number of hospitals have been sealed due to workers testing positive. The concept of virtual healthcare has been there around before the world was struck by the pandemic. Before we end the bulletin, let's look at the top news headlines once again. Three tests positive for COVID-19 in Manipur, two patients test negative. Stramic special train brings back 1,571 returnees from Chennai. And Chief Minister Biren chairs meeting to discuss flooding returnees. With that, it's a wrap for this evening news bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Good time ahead.